cooking, cooking, cooking with Kathy. Hey, welcome back, everybody. I have a really delicious sandwich recipe for you. Of course, makes a great lunch, especially if you want to do something nice on the weekend. But you know what? Life is so crazy busy, especially this time of year, running around the kids to all those after school activities that sometimes all you have time for is a nice bowl of soup or even just a can of tomato soup and maybe a grilled cheese sandwich. But this grilled cheese sandwich is really amazing and it doesn't take any longer to make than the regular one. So it's a little something gourmet, something special, and I think even the kids will like it. All right, so we start out with two nice pieces of sourdough bread. And then I'm going to make a real quick, easy spread. We're basically going to jazz up some mayonnaise. So I have two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And then I'm going to take a little bit of either Sig Jam, which you can find now. They sell it right at Festival, kind of near the gourmet cheese section of the grocery store. Or if you can't find that, you could do a little bit of apricot preserves. So about one tablespoon of jam to two tablespoons of mayonnaise and that's your spread and it is yummy. I just want to check on this sandwich that I'm grilling up here. Whoops, we lost the top of the bread. Let's see if it's ready to flip. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. And if you don't have a panini, uh, just use a plate to kind of press it down. All right, let's get to putting together the sandwich. So I'm mixing together the, the jam and the mayonnaise. And I'm going to spread a generous amount on each piece of bread. There we go. I don't know about you, but in fall, sometimes just a nice ooey gooey sandwich and a bowl of soup. Now we're talking. All right, now I've got some nice deli ham. Sometimes I buy it on Sundays when they're shaving it right there at the deli, nice and warm, and you even get some free rolls. So if you've got some extra of that ham, I'm going to lay down some brie cheese, which is that wonderful creamy cheese, and then some sliced pear. And I know it sounds a little weird. I just want to check on my sandwich. I want to make sure it's just perfect. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. We are absolutely getting there. And uh, uh, it, just a little bit of pear or an apple on a grilled cheese just could be wonderful. So just a few slices, just sweetens it up. Try it sometime. It's just yummy. And I'm actually going to put that underneath the brie. The pear goes down first and the brie goes on top. That way the, the brie will just kind of hold everything together. All right, now a little butter on both sides of this bread. And it's that easy. I mean, quick, quick, quick and kind of gourmet. Get it on, you know, basically you can do this on, on in a skillet, just like you do a normal grilled cheese. You can do it on a grill pan. If you have a panini maker, which I bought one of those a few years ago, and man, my kids make their own sandwiches all the time. I absolutely love it. So just let me slice this up for you. That bread gets a little crisp. The brie gets ooey and gooey and wonderful. And then that little bit of pear in there. Oh, all I need is a big bowl of soup for some Dunkin'. And there you go. It's my ham, brie, and pear grilled cheese sandwich with that special spread, that mayo and uh, fig jam spread. And man, talk about good. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival foods. Make sure and watch Living with Amy today. We've got the sandwich. Now we need some great soups to go with it. We're going to make a delicious big batch of tortellini soup. We're also going to do a cream of mushroom soup and a pumpkin tomato bisque, so it's going to be really good. We'll see you here at Living with Amy, 9 o'clock, right after...